Hey, what's up guys? This is Quick Tip of the Week, and this week I'm going to be teaching you how to add noise to any sort of project that you have. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This week I'm going to be teaching you how to add noise to any kind of project that you are doing. Now this is a sort of a uh, more towards the professional aspect of graphic design. So if you're sort of designing maybe a um, iPhone app or a website, this is what you're going to uh, want to be doing. So I have um, a template of um, two iPhones and an app that is going to be that we're going to be using today. So basically, all you have to do is um, just choose one of them. As I just simply chose the one on the right. And I'm going to rasterize this layer, okay? And this this layer is the blue layer, okay? We're just going to take away basically everything else. So this is the blue layer. Um, now again, this isn't my template. I forgot to tell you that. This is not my template. This is um, something that I found elsewhere that I'm just using for educational purposes only. So uh, I just simply recreated the scene on the right um, on the right iPhone so I could show you this better. So this is the blue that I'm going to be using, right here, it's the blue that I'm going to be using to add the noise to. So all you're basically going to be doing is just make sure that you select it and make sure that you rasterize the layer, okay? So after you have done rasterizing the layer, you are going to go to filter, right here, and just simply go to noise and add noise. Okay, if it said um, something about rasterizing your layer, then that means that you didn't rasterize the layer. But now that you can see this little window pop up, this is what we're going to be using. Um, so here, it's uh, very, it's, it's just basically too much, yeah? So uh, right now we have it at 12.5%. Now this varies on, on just everything, on everything that you're going to be using, how big it is, how, how detailed it is, it's going to be varying for everyone. So for us, since this is a uh, app design, it's a very simple design, we're going to bring it down to maybe about 2, and we're going to see how that looks. Now you can see it's already, it's looking quite good actually. And we can just zoom in just to see the actual noise of it, you can see. Now let's say we bring it up to three. And it's, it still looks good. Uh, it's just a matter of preference. Um, so like, I'm pretty sure uh, Twitter used to have something along these lines. I'm, I don't think they have it anymore. Um, but it's a very professional kind of thing to do and it, it'll help in all sorts of projects that you have. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this and I hope it did help. Um, it's just something that you could use that'll help you in any kind of thing. So if you did enjoy it, please do remember to leave a like and please do comment. Please tell me anything that you want. Uh, please tell me uh, any tutorial that you want me to do. Just even if you don't want to comment, just leave just leave me a private message and I'll do the tutorial. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to learn more about Adobe Photoshop, Cinema 4D, and uh, Adobe Illustrator, then please do subscribe. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.